I feel as if for a lot of my videos, there may be a PSA to jumpstart it, but I'm okay with that because maybe there's a message out there. And the message today is happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. And there are so many categories. There can be new dads, there are older dads, there are dads maybe dealing with loss, there are dads that are trying to reconnect with their kids, maybe there are dads struggling to build that connection because it's not always the easiest thing when you are trying to co-parent. And I get it. It's a lot. However, to dads out there, I know you don't get enough love and appreciation. And I know the running joke is on Mother's Day. Everything is booked like weeks in advance. And for Father's Day, you can seat a party of 20. Sorry about that. But, and I know, listen, even I have to do better about making sure that I call my dad and also that I call my goddad more. But trust me, we love you guys. We appreciate you for the courage, the strength, the life lessons you provide, the comfort you guys are always that calming presence when things are out of order we know that we can come to you and that's an amazing thing and we thank you for it so to all my friends especially that are dads i tried to reach out to all of you individually and if i missed any of you i'm sorry and to my subscribers if you guys are dads happy father's day i hope it's a great one hopefully they spoiled you just like moms are spoiled and i know you're probably going to tell me like no tj that's not how that works but i at least hope that so Happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. And this is not what this video is about. Um, so if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that I'll post fitness content quite a bit. Now, I'm not a fitness-based channel whatsoever. I'm not a trainer, okay? I just love living a fit life. And I would hope that a lot of you would have used this last year to, you know, get more active and take care of yourself, take care of your health, okay? We get one body, that's it. Once it's done, it's done. Once we're out of here, we're gone. So take care of your body. Some of you probably take better care of your shoes than you do your individual body. And that's like a terrible reality. Take care of yourselves. Okay. Especially once you're past the age of like 21, everything starts to feel a little differently. Okay. I'm past the age of 30. So it all definitely feels different. Um, than it did when even I was 25. But, uh, if you recall, I did a video a little while back where I picked up a pair of shorts from Dick Sporting Goods and they were laser orange two in one Nike shorts and they are quite comfortable and they're like one of my favorites to wear in the gym. So I went back to Dick Sporting Goods to actually pick up a few more of those, but also uh, another new addition to my gym wardrobe. So I just wanted to show you that a little, you know, real fast. Uh, ladies, this may be more for you, not for guys, but guys, if you want to stick around, I do appreciate it. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see, yeah These days I don't worry about much I think we should have some more fun I still dream about the days when we were young I'll take a hit and still finish and I won What's going on, everybody? It's your girl TJ back with another video talks with TJ, aka TJ Two Shoes Change. Thank you guys again so much for tuning in to another video. If you're brand new and you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. I really appreciate it. Two Shoes Crew, you guys are amazing. And I know this video is not at our normal Sunday time. However, we're just we're just getting it out there and. Happy Father's Day again to all of the dads. Whatever it is you're doing today, hopefully you're enjoying. The first game, game one of the Western Conference Finals. And we know that we are Team Booker this way, okay? So, rooting for my sons. Definitely need them to come away with the win. If they don't, I get it. We have a whole series to make sure that we bring it home. But that's where I stand. And just bravo to KD because there was nothing more this man could have done. Nothing more. We witnessed amazing greatness during this series run for him. And I say him, that's not to negate, that's not to say that like sports is not a team, it's not a team thing, but what did everyone else do for him to help him in this game seven? Like nothing, and Harden did what I expected Harden to do. Like, yeah, injuries certainly played a part though, because you we know this is a different ball game if Kyrie was fully healthy, but that's what happens. Players get hurt, and it changes the entire scope of everything. Look at my team. Like, goodness, Clay not being there changes everything. Steph having to play hurt changes everything. Um, 
but I just feel like KD gave us every little thing that he had left and I'm happy to have witnessed that game seven and it was a nail biter for a lot of people like people were stressed and they're not even fans of Brooklyn they were stressed and they're not fans of the Bucks at all and everybody is really anti like a Philly and a Bucks Eastern Conference Final I'm not sure why but if you were to ask me I would love the NBA Finals to feature Trey Young and Devin Booker just going at it. That would make me happy. So I don't know if that's in the cards, but I really hope it is. <laughs> Let's move past the NBA talk. I want to keep this short and sweet. Um, also, Father's Day, though, if you're looking for a fire shoe for dad and it has nothing to do with like crazy hype or anything, I will say this, the New Balance 5740 that I just picked up and did a full video on, which you guys can see somewhere here, I'll link in the cards. I think that's a great option for dad. So if he's already into New Balance, shuffle him that way. Uh, the 997 Sport is also a really good looking dad shoe. And then I'm trying to think what else is in my closet. Um, the 270 React is probably something else I have more closely linked to a dad shoe. And then we know the Monarch is forever up there. So chunkier dad models. Who would have thought that dad would lead the way for style? We used to call that corny. And now all of us are trying to hop on that train. So I guess dad does know best. And in terms of knowing best, like not that I know best about fitness or anything just take care of yourselves we honestly get one body take some deliberate steps to take care of yourself but also in doing that sometimes look good feel good is a real thing and if you feel great in what you're working out in maybe you'll I don't know be a little bit more consistent I would hope so um so I did a video a while back where I picked up a pair of two-in-one Nike shorts they are considered like Lux Tempo shorts and yes they are two in one so you have the spandex underneath the running shorts so you don't have to go and layer anything it's already done for you and i love those shorts i love the style the fit the color was laser orange then um so i actually went back for two different colors so the one the one color you guys are seeing here kind of in action of me in the gym um is mist okay so this is the mist colorway I love the feel of them. So just in terms of how they fit, get your standard size. So what, well, actually I would say this, maybe go down. I would actually say go down. So I get a medium in Nike Pro Shorts. These are small and these fit perfect. So hopefully that gives you an idea. I like to wear a small and I like to wear small in these, but I have a medium in the Nike Pro Shorts. So um, these have a little bit more give and a little bit more room than traditional Pro Shorts will right now, or at least the current cut of Pro Shorts, if that helps you out at all, ladies. Uh, again, went with the small. I love the room and movement that you have with the actual like running shorts. So that's what Tempo Shorts are. They are traditionally running shorts, but to have the spandex under there means you can easily transition from like a lifting work out to a running workout it just really depends i like to sometimes run first and then lift whatever works for you just figure out a routine that honestly works for you and if you follow me on instagram i don't necessarily post tons of running stuff it's more so lifting or me doing pull-ups and you guys seem to go crazy over those clips sometimes to the point where like comments are a whole trip i'm just gonna leave it at that comments are a whole trip um outside of the mist colorway i also picked up the white colorway so its waistband is extremely soft against your skin um you don't have to worry about like a traditional like i'm actually not a fan of the traditional liner that comes in running shorts so the fact that you have a standard like nike pro short um, underneath is what I prefer best is in terms of fit and feel against my skin. So ladies, that's what you'll have there. And then the other item that I picked up for, uh, I guess my fitness apparel collection would be the Nike soft swoosh bra. So if you remember the indie bra, which I'm actually wearing an older style indie bra in the video here, that's the burgundy one that you guys are seeing. This is like more of an updated look to it. And it has a higher neckline, which ladies, maybe you'll appreciate that a little bit more especially if you choose to work out with just your sports bra because this is a little bit of a longer line um bra here and then it has the one piece in the middle so guys you're probably not aware that like sports bras will have the pads that come in them and sometimes they're two which means you will lose those suckers in the wash versus this just being a singular one and i think ladies appreciate that a lot more and then the nike waist uh band here that goes around your body is really soft too so i picked this up in the darker gray i don't know if they call it charcoal or not but darker gray colorway 
I've actually had these in for a minute, just forgot to do a video on them. So ladies, these are just my current gym faves that I recently picked up. Um, throw these on, enjoy a workout. And yeah, so that is a, let me not lie and give you the correct. So I went with a medium here, um, just because there's nothing worse than when that band is squeezing you like ultra tight. Not that I am wider this way in my torso, but because of my actual back from doing pull-ups and things like that, I don't want that constricted. Okay. That's just not a good feeling. So medium in the bra, small in the shorts and in the clips, you see me in Nike react, uh, kicks. That's only because it's an upper body workout. If it's a lower body workout, I would not be in those. You don't want all of that cushion and foam and space in between the base of your foot in the ground if you're doing legs especially heavier leg workout so just keep that in mind because i'm sure someone will ask like is that a good shoe it's a running shoe so it's cool if you're going to transition from like upper body to running awesome but if you're going to do legs i personally just would not wear that shoe you have metcons and other options to wear outside of that personally when i'm running though i actually like to run in a pegasus not a react anymore just for the stability and the structure but i still love the softness of a pegasus too so Recent gym faves, hopefully you guys enjoyed this very random video. It has nothing to do with shoes, but all of life isn't about shoes. So take care of yourselves, be active, enjoy Father's Day. As always, act your age, not your shoe size. Peace out.